Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. In the last lesson you learned how to talk about your well-being and how to ask others about their well-being. In this lesson we will be learning the basic sentence structure. You can visit our page on patreon.com to get free worksheets, podcasts, transcripts, early access to our videos and more. So let's begin. Lektion 9 Once again, Lektion 9 Satzstruktur Noch einmal, Satzstruktur Here is an overview of what we will be learning in this lesson. We will be beginning with the important parts of a sentence, the subject and the verb. We will also learn where the verb is placed and the types of questions. We will conclude this video with a short exercise. Here is the first sentence. Ich heiße Monika. Let's analyze this sentence. Ich is the subject. Heiße is the verb. The subject conjugates the verb. A conjugated verb is different from its base form. With different subjects, the verb is conjugated differently. This we will be doing later in detail. Let's look at another sentence which we have already done. Ich wohne in Berlin. Again here, ich is the subject and wohne is the verb. A basic rule of sentence formation in German is that the verb is in the second position. The subject is placed either on the right or on the left of the verb. For example, in the sentence Heute bin ich in Berlin. Ich is placed after the verb. The verb stays in the second position. There are a few exceptions to it though, which we'll be learning later. Now it's your turn to analyze one sentence. Ich bin müde. What do you think? Where is the verb and what's the subject? Ich is the subject and bin is the verb in the second position. Now let's move on to the different types of questions. We fragen. We have already learned these before. Questions that start with wie, welche, was, wo, woher, we feel, and many more are Wehfragen. Let's analyze a Wehfrage. Wo wohnen Sie? In this case, Sie is the subject, whereas wohnen is the verb. Here's another one. Woher kommst du? Her du is the subject and kommst is the verb. In both these cases and all other Wehfragen, the verb is placed in the second position. The subject is on the right side of the verb. Now it's your turn to analyze a Wehfrage. Wie heißen Sie? Where's the verb? And what's the subject? Yes, Sie is the subject. And heißen is the verb. It is in the second position. Here are some more Wehfragen. Wie geht es Ihnen? Wie alt sind Sie? Wo wohnst du? Was sind deine Hobbys? Wie ist dein Familienname? In all these questions, the verb is in the second position and the subject follows the verb. Now we move on to the next type of questions. Ja, nein, fragen. As the term suggests, the answer to these questions is either ja or nein. Hence they are known as ja, nein, fragen. I'm sure you remember doing these questions in our previous lessons. Now let's analyze them. Haben Sie Kinder? In this case, the subject is Sie 
and the verb is haben. Let's look at another one. Sind Sie verheiratet? Here the subject is Sie and the verb is sind. Please note that these questions are an exception to the rule we just learned. That is, here the verb is in the first position. Let's look at another example. Wohnst du in München? Here the subject is du and the verb is wohnst, which is in the first position and not in the second. So whenever there is a ja nein Frage, you will always place the conjugated verb in the first position and the subject will follow. Here are some more ja nein Fragen. Kommen Sie aus Deutschland? Wohnen Sie in Indonesien? Spielen Sie Fußball? Sprechen Sie Italienisch? Verstehen Sie mich? Sind Sie 30 Jahre alt? Haben Sie Zeit? You must have noticed that in all these questions the verb is in the first place followed by the subject. Now it's time to practice what we have learned. Übung Bilde Sätze You'll be getting some parts of a sentence with the subject and the verb and you have to rearrange them in the right order to make a sentence. Do remember the verb will be in the second position. Only in case of a ja nein Frage, it will be in the first position. Here's the first one. And your answer should be Ich heiße Tom. The verb here is heißen and the subject is ich. Let's move on to the second one. The correct answer is er wohnt in Berlin. Here again the verb is in the second position, wohnt. The third one is And your answer should be Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Now this was tricky. Since there is a question mark, you have to make a question. And the only possible question here is Ja nein Frage. That means the verb is in the first position. Here's the next one. Since this one is also a question, you will place the verb in the first position. This will be followed by the subject. Kommst du aus England? And now here's the last one. The answer to this one is Wie alt bist du? Wie alt is considered together and will be placed in position 1. And now here is a quick overview of what we have learned. The verb, whether in the first or in the second position, is conjugated by the subject. The verb is mostly in the second position. The subject is either to the right or to the left of the verb. Questions beginning with W words Wo, woher, etc. are W fragen. Here the verb is in the second place. Questions with answer Ja or Nein are Ja Nein fragen. Here the verb is in the first place. In the next lesson, we will continue with the sentence structure and we will learn more about the relationship between a subject and a verb. If you want to practice what you have learned today, you can download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. You can also gain access to our transcripts by becoming a $1 patron and to our podcasts by becoming a $5 patron. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. You can click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. 
If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen!